I'm going to be showing you now in, in schematic form uh, what you should be seeing when you look through your plumb line to your grid, okay? And how the line markers can help you position yourself better by putting them on the uh, plumb line here. That's why I've got these two markers set up. So, the grid that you see here on this piece of paper corresponds to the actual grid out there, all right? Now, what you have to start imagining is you have to imagine that this point here, the end of the plumb, uh, plumb bar, is right here, okay? It's right here. So we're looking, we're looking at the very end of it. All right? And hanging down is the plumb line, this string, which is right in front, which like, like I was showing you earlier, lines up, you line yourself up perfectly with the grid string behind it back there in space. So this dark line I'm drawing now corresponds to that plumb. There's the weight down there. Okay, let's just put it in. Okay, now, right here are the line markers. All right, um, I have drawn this to show you a couple of things that can happen. When you're looking through this string and you see the, uh, the line marker like this, uh, uh, the line marker is against these grid lines in the back. You should set up your line markers so that the bottom part of the line marker, which is underneath here, this part, should be touching a horizontal line going this way. So in this case, I'm sorry, the top of this line marker, the top of this line marker, and the bottom of this line marker, okay? You see how it is, it's, it's encasing the, the sides of a square, all right? Now, what that means is, if you're at your position where you have your feet marked on the ground, and you're too far away. Now, naturally, naturally, even though you've got your spot marked on the ground like I showed you, let's say, let's say one day you've had too much to drink the night before and you're swaying back like this, okay? You're leaning back. What will happen is you will not instead, instead of seeing this with these two things lining up, you will instead see this. Okay, you'll see the um, line markers inside the square as opposed to touching the edges. Now, if you lean too close like this because something's wrong with your back, you're going to see the you're going to see the opposite of that. You're going to see it, the line markers like this. <laughs> so the. The position that you want to be in when you're standing at your given spot on the floor or whether you're sitting in your chair, and boy, when you're sitting in a chair, sometimes you start slumping, sometimes you start leaning forward, you want to be able to go back to a precise reference point, and that would be this one, okay? You don't want to start to see the, uh, the, the uh, um, line markers getting bigger than the, than the given square that, that's out there. Neither do you want the uh, square to swallow up the line markers. You want to see the horizontal lines of that square just touching the top of this line marker and the bottom of that line marker. Okay? Um, you don't have to look at this the whole time you're drawing. It's a good idea to have it and refer to it when, you make, when you're making critical measurements. Sometimes you'll stop noticing it for a while and you'll draw a little bit more freely. The point is, don't uh, neglect this because this can really determine your position in space. It can, it's a very, very useful, accurate way to um, remember where you are. Okay? Um, 
I have it drawn here with one square. If you want, you instead of using instead of using one square, you could in fact have had this line marker down here and use two squares. Okay? So that way you're looking at two squares out there on the grid. And if you're too close, okay, if you're too close, you'll have this. You'll have um, the exact same thing again. You'll have the, um, the line marker is getting bigger, uh, so this one would be down here. Instead of touching, okay? And the same thing, the same thing here again. If, uh, if you're too far away, you're going to have the line markers doing this. You'll be inside, but you'll be inside the grid line, where if you're too close, the line markers will be outside the grid line. That might sound like um, way too much precision, but you know, when you're dealing with still lives, when you're dealing with portraits and other things, and you want a very precise point of reference, there it is, and it's ready for you. We were framing up our composition using our, our line markers, which are a great way to get an idea of what your picture is going to look like, because you can look through, uh, you can look through the grid and see how much of the picture is going to be included and, how, and what's going to be excluded. Sometimes I like to take even extra ones. Okay, I take extra line markers and I'll put them along here. Like for instance, a very handy place to put one of these is when you're looking through here, if you put it at, if you put it at your home base, okay, I know that that is the line that co corresponds to my home base. Remember we were talking about that? So that it's just yet another point of reference.